Picture this. You're sitting in your office when suddenly you remember an urgent task that needs attention on your home computer. You panic as you realize you're miles away from your desk. But with the power of SSH, secure remote access is just a few simple steps away. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss. SSH, the Secure Shell Protocol. SSH is a powerful tool that allows you to securely connect to remote servers, transfer files, and execute commands. An interesting part of SSH is that it encrypts all the data being transmitted, ensuring privacy and protection against unauthorized access. It is based on a client-server model. The protocol allows client request information to connect to a server. So let's find out how you can install and enable SSH in your Linux system. To begin, open your Ubuntu terminal. For Ubuntu and Debian based systems, you can use the command sudo apt install openssh server. This command will install the SSH package on your system. Now, once the installation is complete, SSH will be enabled on your system automatically, but in case you need to make sure that it is enabled, um, you can do it manually using the command sudo service ssh start. And you can also use the command sudo systemctl start ssh. I prefer this one. Then make sure to check the status of the SSH service. And to do that, use the command sudo systemctl status ssh. Now on my terminal, you can see that it's showing active or running. So now you can uh, successfully transfer or share your files using SSH. So next time before you use it, make sure to check the status because if it ever shows failing or stopped here, that means that um, you cannot share anything through SSH. So it's very important to see uh, at first whether it is active or not. Then type the command sudo ufw allow ssh. This command will tell the ufw firewall to allow all incoming ssh connections. And you can see on my terminal that it's saying skipping adding existing rule. That means I've already added this rule before. So uh, it doesn't uh, find any need to do that again. Okay, so now you have installed SSH and you have configured the firewall. Uh, all you have to do now is go to Windows and access the Ubuntu terminal from there. But before you do that, um, there's one last thing that you need to do, and that is to obtain the IP address of Linux machine. So to do that, use the command hostname dash i. The i specifies the IP address needed for this host. And um, you can note the IP address somewhere. Some people also use ipconfig to uh, get the IP address. I prefer this one because it's easier to use. Okay, now all I have to do is go to Windows. At the bottom of the screen, you can see all my Windows icons. I will go to the search bar and command and type in command prompt. Okay. Now I have opened the command prompt of Windows. All I need to type here is SSH and then type the name of your Linux user. So for mine, it is Aisha and then at and then the IP address of your Linux system. So here it's 192.168.153.128. And then press enter. And then you have to type in your password for the Linux user. And that's it. You have successfully accessed your Ubuntu terminal through command prompt. Uh, just to make sure that it has successfully accessed or not, uh, let's just run a command. I will use ls in this case. And you can see on my command prompt that it's showing all the folders and um, 
files of my Linux system. Let's type who am I? And it's showing Aisha. And uh, Aisha was my Linux user. So uh, you can see that the command prompt of Windows has successfully accessed the Ubuntu terminal through SSH. So that is all about this SSH protocol and how to install it. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Thank you for watching.